We've been fishing for two days in this hell of a lake, and we ain't caught a draft. No. You do that one more time, I'm going to tear the tongue out of your head from the roots and slap you to death with it. I'm trying to sleep, and I can't sleep with you belching. If I can't sleep, I can't get me that championship bass in this here pond. Heard me the sound of worms. Are you sure, Bucky? Sure, I'm sure. I know the sound of worms. Hell, I can hear a tapeworm in the hall. What was that? That was the sound of a fat night crawl. <laughs> One more sound and we go get him.
candles and make a good wish. I want to cut the cake, Ursula, just the way I cut up your dog. Give me back the knife or I'll beat the crap out of you. Dad, she said she was going to beat the crap out of me. If you don't give me back the knife, I'll beat the crap out of you and anybody else that tries to stop me from cutting my cake. Now, you don't really mean that, sweetheart. The crap I don't. She said crap again. I know she said crap again. Give her the knife. Yeah, give me the knife or I'll beat the crap out of you. She beat the crap out of me, and you don't even get her crap. She beat the crap out of me. I think it's disgraceful the language the mayor's children use. Well, she really did beat the crap out of me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Ursula. Happy birthday to me. Imagine six months ago to the day, Buck Bow and U.S. champion fisherman and his weekend buddies spent their very last days here at this very campsite, never to be seen or heard from again. Now, people are afraid to come down to this lake, Max, but actually that's helping out our plans nicely. Yeah, the town jerks will vote to rezone out here because they want the vacationers just as badly as they wanted the waters to irrigate the crops. The tiny old man built the first dam. Now, your old man wouldn't let, wouldn't let a little bad publicity get in his way. No way! He had guts. He wouldn't let anything stop him. Not even Umgar's father. <laughs> That's why he had him drowned. You know, it's kind of funny that Umgar's old man is buried up there under tons of cement. Yeah, your old man had guts. My father never killed anybody. Hey, okay, have it your way, chief. I don't want to talk about it, Max. Well, now, you may not want to talk about it, but every time somebody looks at that mud hole out there, all they think about is when that dam broke and Umgar's old man was drowned. Now, you remember that. That was St. Valentine's Day, 1939. And your old man made a fortune. Oh, he had guts. Guts! Don't worry about it, Mayor. We're going to give away so much free ice cream and cake and rotten beer that all they think about is balancing their checkbooks. We'll have our manana estates here, and nothing can stop us. Unless Umgar has some proof. As far as anybody knows, Umgar's father didn't leave him a will or a deed. That creep is dangerous. 
How do we know he didn't leave a deed proving that his old man was in partnership with your old man and that he and you own half of this town together? Well, if it does have a deed, I don't think he can read. He's probably used those papers to start fires in that shack of his. Max, next week when that city council of mine votes to rezone this mud hole, the first thing I'm going to do as mayor of Melnick is to have Umgar committed to a state mental institution for the rest of his unnatural life. No, on second thought, the first thing I'm going to do is to go out to Umgar's shack and ask him about that deed just one more time. There was a city named Dua Didi down in New Orleans. She was so pretty and she came from the city of a she a doozy. Ah, oh, hurt, oh, hurt. Over the foot, my over the foot hurt. Ooh, it hurts, much hurt. Right on that door, Umgar, I know you're in there. I heard you hit your foot against the door again. This is Mr. Melnick. He comes to make trouble for us. And, uh, and our trees, beautiful trees, and our, and our hills. He wants to build cement buildings on our gorgeous lake. But we won't let him. Well, let him. Pretty soon we're going to give him a little surprise. We'll stop him. Eat and grow big and fat and strong and strong and strong. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and pretty soon we'll go into the, into the farms of Melik. The fields and eat all the crops. Yeah. And, uh, and then Mr. Melnick, pretty pity, and all of his rich friends, they get poor. Oh, Carl! Carl! Not now, Carl! Everybody quiet down there. Clean your teeth. Yeah, yeah Monsieur Melnick. Yeah, I come. Yeah. Amgar, I want you to listen to me. When Harris and I build our home. We thought maybe we would have a little display. An interesting museum. Umgar, if your father left any kind of trinkets or papers, you owe it to him to see that they get into the right hands. My father left nothing. You must have something, and I want it, do you hear me? There are going to be a lot of changes around here soon, and there is not going to be any room for any junk of any kind. And remember, I have fire and theft insurance for everything on this property, but no medical insurance for that foot of yours! What did he say? He said he didn't have the deed, but I think he's lying to us, Max. When I asked him about his father's deed, I looked him right in his good eye, and I think it started to cry. We're going to have to rope him up, Max. Good. What are we going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is call a special meeting of the M Society tonight. Maybe we can tear his heart out. You know, I bet Umgar's heart looks like a bad piece of cow's liver. Green and rotten and moldy! Fist and legs like that. Hurt your kneecaps. And then you wouldn't grow up strong and straight. Bigger, more straight, everybody. Yeah. 
Yavuz. Kim niye meldiniz? Uno Berta. Berta. Don Pushka. Look at that. That's a... You're going hips. A coochie coochie coo. Here is a deep toilet. You put it right in there. Sonny Melnick never find it now. Hello, boys. Yeah. Today you're going to have a little vacation and you're going to exercise and play. Play all over. Everybody is going to play. Especially you, Stooge Fun. You don't get enough exercise. And Stooge Two and Three and Four, you guys got to play together. Don't get tangled up like last Thursday. You know, everybody. Let me see. Oh, the nose is cold. Ah, that's good. Just help. Yeah, everybody. Ready inside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you're healthy. You're okay. You too. Let me see the feet. Yeah, you're okay. Ready? Yeah. Herman. Herman. You mow the lawn. That's your job for the day. When Bertha, Bertha, today you make like a good woman. You do the windows. See the windows. Oh, I'm gonna shoot this. Make his little family work so hard before he feeds them. You must have your strength, yeah. Shh, I get you something to eat. Yeah. When they sung to Lusitania, I got loose with you. Yeah, yeah, you were a loose goose. Yeah, this is about this much. Otherwise, I didn't want him to get indigestion. Yeah. I got to feed, I can't feed you now, I got to feed your crazy cousins, the, the tenders, they're crazy in the head, in the sugar. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't do that. I got to put my rubber gloves on last time. You ate two of my fingernails, you poo-poos, you. Yeah. Yeah, just like I said. Yeah. Uh, U.S. Army. You don't, don't, don't eat too fast because if you eat too fast you get indigestion. The belly button goes up. Ready? Yeah. Oh, the breath, you stink. A stinky breath. Yeah. Ready? Oh, my intention cigar didn't go very far. I know. Oh, you eat too fast. Oh, breath too fast. Oh, eat, but not each other. That does. Yeah. Yes, a little DDD for the set. It cleans, it cleans the insides. Ah, it wouldn't clean it strong. Anybody home? Open sesame. Stop making with the jokes, Sweetie. Just get somebody here to help with the luggage. My God, what a godforsaken place you brought us to. Mildred. Oh, what's the use? We're here to enjoy nature. This is our annual nature trip. Why don't you try and enjoy it for a change? That's right, Mommy. Don't be such a spoiled sport. You might even get a suntan. I burn! I don't tan, I burn! Yeah, what you want? Oh, we have reservations. Our name is Manhope. Yeah, Menhope, Menhope. I get leather. Yeah. You come with me, yeah. My God! This place 
place is worse than the place you took me to in Chile. I just know there are tarantulas here. No, 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 lady. No spiders. You don't see spider webs. There's, there's, there's no spiders. Campsite one is fantastic. Best place I got. Uh, some rattlesnakes and skunks and some bats. See? But that drop is good for the land. Make grass grow. You know, I, I think I can get into painting here. Oh, yes, I think I can. Uh, and the lake. How far is the lake? The lake's a half a mile away, but uh, there's not enough water for the boats this year. No boats. Where's the shower? Or the bathtub, for that matter? Oh, you bathe outside. That's fantastic. That's really rustic. What time is dinner going to be served? I've got kitchen closed in one hour. There's a menu on the door. You're our chef. No chef. I cook. Uh, sometimes good, sometimes like bed droppings, yeah. Especially for this week. Baby lizards over easy. Did he say baby lizards over easy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the pets. They like your vibe. All right, all right, all right. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, look. Look. Why don't we go up to Umgar's cabin? If he doesn't give us the deed, I'll make him part of the cement that's in the dam. Now, that's murder, and I'm not for murder. A person who's for murder doesn't like himself. Murder is a very punky thing to do. You calling me a punk? I'll tear your head off of the shoulders and finish to my piranha! Oh, yeah? You ain't got no piranha, Max. What do you mean, I ain't got no piranha? <laughs> I ate him. <laughs> you ate rosemary? I'm gonna tear your head over the shoulders and I'm gonna finish your head! All right, God damn it. Don't get so riled up here now. We used to negotiate with these fellas every Friday night. Now, here's what I got in mind. First thing we do is come right out of the bar, and then we go to that big hanging tree. Oh, come on, Marlboro, not the big hanging tree again. Oh, honey, now, true to my heart, for God's sakes, we had 36 straight lynchings there before they hijacked that goddamn rope shipment from that gang in Georgia. For God's sake, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, everybody, hold hey. it. You're all a bunch of uglies. All right, now, look. If this nut has got the deed, it's in his shack. All right, today is Thursday. He comes into town for his supplies. Max will lead an expedition to the shack to get the deed. What's an expedition? We go to the shack and we get the deed. Look, can't we burn it down? I mean, I would really dig that. I had a football coach one time. He had a club foot just like Umgar's. He used to kick us with it. I wanted to rip it off and Beat him to death with it! Calm down, Max! You're not playing football! This is serious money business! And use the cups! His ankle would snap like a chicken bone. And then I'd beat him in the head with it. I'd use his head for a cue ball. Oh, God! I wish I was a knob again! I was the only one that had any gun. Shut up! Right now, everyone that is involved in this expedition should keep one thing in mind. One objective. Find that deed. And if we can't find it, then... You can do anything you want to him, Max. Anything? At this meeting of the Royal Order of the M Society is now adjourned. Father Smuts, will you give the closing ceremony? <clears throat> Our prayer for this day. Glory to the M Society. And praise to the money we're about to make Building a Yonder condominium estate! Take that heathen away!
wants the lake and trees But they want instead To build concrete homes And make lots of bread And they're trying to destroy him But he's holding fast and firm And those who come to take his home May wind up beating worms So don't you try to take his home You may wind up beating worms You may wind up beating worms You may wind up beating worms You got Bullcock? Bullcock? Oh, what's a ball of cock? How come everybody in this country is here longer than me and nobody speak English? Now, look. You talk uh, slow and then you say in plain American. Okay? Now, what do you want? It's American English. Ball cock for toilet. To Toilets are water and a handle is a toilet. You know what do you say? Do you want a ball cock for your toilet? Is that what you're trying to say, sir? Yeah, plain American speech, Bogart for toilet. It's the round thing that goes up and down. Oh, you mean the water ball that goes up and a down, up and a down. No, go up and down, no up and down, Bogart. English for toilet. What's the matter? Nobody around here gonna speak English? Aren't you, Mr. Umgar? Don't you take care of the park up at the lake? So? Well, I'm just glad to meet you, that's all. I'm the head of the Valley Conservation Group here in town. We're really interested in that lake of yours. We don't want to see it subdivided into a bunch of land parcels and sold like they've been doing all over this entire state. We heard that you don't want your land turned into a bunch of condominiums either. We're having a meeting at my house tomorrow night, and I'd really like you to come. You know more about that lake than anybody here in this entire town. We've got to stop them. You know, stop them, you crazy kid. Nobody stops them. Okay, here's your ball cock. Anything else? Yeah, 50 pound tag DDT. You're buying that stuff? You hippie. You see the yard man outside, he give you the DDT. You hippie. Don't even know what hippie means, but that's a funny word, like bullcock, yeah. There was a city in Lake, you tourist? Yes. Are you the pickup service for the lake? I was told that if I wait right here, that someone from the lake would pick me up sometime today. I from lake. My name's Fern Hopewell. I'm an archaeology student, and I've come to Melnick to do a little research at the lake. Your name? Umga. Hi, Umga. Uh, you wait right here. I must go for some nice. It sounds fine. Do you mind if I put my pack in the truck? Go. I guess I'll just walk around the town. It, it seems like a real clean little town. Keep away from two hot ladies with hats on. They crazy unless you're karate expert. Yeah. That's a weird dude. like you got a campaign going on there. What's stop the Lake Melnick's window? You want to help us? Me? What can I do to help? 
We're trying to stop the mayor and the crooked politicians and all those phony land promoters from ruining Lake Melnick. They want to put up condominiums all over the entire place. So we grow oranges. There's no DDT, no pesticides, anything like that. Yeah, we sell them. Then we use the bread to keep this cause going. Cause? You guys aren't going to bomb anything, are you? You came up here for a little rest, a little relaxation for a couple of days. No, nothing like that. We just believe in the rights of the people. Hey, we've got a petition. Do you want to sign it? Sure, I'll sign it. What's the matter with your foot? You want to drive or you want to let me drive? Make up our minds! Here, I calm you down. Sue's a savage beast! Cooperate! Cooperate! Hollywood star, but who am I? If you guess, you get to kiss Heidi. See what the boys in the back room will have. And tell them I cry. And tell them I sign. And tell them I have lost them. You're Marlene Dietrich. Oh, boy! You're getting pretty daring, Umga. <laughs> Umga. Tonight's my night off. Why wouldn't you like to come into town? We could go dancing and drinking and have a real good time. No, tonight's full moon. You could go crazy. Well, then, why don't I come up to your place, big boy? And I could fix you a good, old-fashioned German meal, like in the old country. You don't like my place. Oh, I could come and we could play house. And I could fix you a Kantemeyer dinner. You like Kantemeyer? Yeah, I like Kantemeyer. Well, then, it's all settled. Oh, think of it, Omga. A candlelight dinner in your own cottage. I know a man does like you, doesn't need a poor girl like me. A man with all your bills, but still... I have no money, you gold digger. Oh, please, Omga, please. Oh, think of it, with sugar on top, and cream, and cherries, and strawberries, and kitschy coo I'll be there, 8 o'clock sharp, with bells on. If you come, you come. I cannot wait for a woman. Women make head of men buzz around like bees in the head. I'll be there, 8 o'clock sharp. A good meal and a good woman is all a good man needs. And I won't make you like bees. I'll make you like honey, honey. I don't feel good. I go now. I go. I... That guy is loaded. I just know it. Are you going up to the lake to vacation? Yeah. I'm an archaeology student here on kind of a hunting expedition. I'm going to dig up fossils and things like that. And if you dig up anything like, like a Clyde Harris, make sure you put them back in the ground again. Yeah, and if you run across any of those hustler types like Clyde Harris, Sonny Melnick, or anybody on that city council, then just... Let us know. We've got to keep our eye out on what's going on up there at that lake. We've just got to keep in touch. Hey, you guys, my ride's here. Well, we'll see you. I'll see you later. See you later, folks. See you later. Later.
rare flowers. she say? She said, where's my water? I'll get you some in a minute, as soon as I finish this tree. Don't say that, Daddy. It makes you sound like a dog. Wow. Girls. Hey, girls. Hey, I've got company. Hey, girls. Girls, say cheese. Say cheese. Find the deed to our house and our land, yeah. Maybe they were afraid of our little friends here, yeah. Yeah. Like this, Arnold? This is ridiculous. Come on, honey, you're in show business. Let it all hang out. Just do, just pose for me. You're going to be great like in Playboy. This is dumb. Yes, honey, great, great. Why you do that? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So his friends can get the land back. Yeah. But you wouldn't listen. I told you if you would hurt each other, I Ungar would take care of you. Yeah. You're monsters. Just like the other ones, I had to throw in the lake. They would not listen either. They were bad friends and would separate you. Yeah. I take care of you. You know, if you want to be a star, you got to let it all hang out. Oh, yeah, I want to let it all hang out. Don't you think I have a lot to hang out, little boy? <laughs> tons, uh, tons. You know what? Why don't you lie down? You know, for the centerfold. You know, I'm a photographer for Playboy. Uh, that's the way I make my living. Uh, I know what I'm talking about. Now, if you'll just go over there and lie down, you'll be there with nature and the pebbles and the sand. And yeah! Da, 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 da. Oh, now that's as much as I wish to show the American public. I know that when a star gives away too much in the beginning, there is nothing left for the end. And I'm always a believer in the end. <laughs> There's a... So the poem of us, I think, a beautiful thing. So dirty, huh? And yeah, you know the poem, no? human beings, they go crazy. Now you stay calm. See what the boys in the back room will have. And tell them I cried. And tell them I sighed. And tell them I have the same. See? Hi, everybody down there. Look, here we have some potato chips. And here we have some dip. Let's just sit here and pretend we are married. You will be the master, and I will be your slave. Oh, what do we have here?
worms, yeah? I think this is not a good idea. I'm not very hungry, Heidi. I think you better go. Oh, no, no. You're just not used to having a money-making woman around. I like that. Oh, you're so bashful. <laughs> That's so cute. You need not be bashful with me. <laughs> After all, a man with your position in life? The owner of such a place as this. A whole lake and a resort. Why? You could afford to be like a Howard Hughes and live in seclusion. I own no land. Sunny Melnick owns land. Ah, no need hiding your money from me. What do you think I am? A gold digger? Ah, no, no, no. You've got the wrong idea. No. <laughs> oh, fuck the temper. You want to do some cooking too? That's a nice trait in a man. Now, here is your beer. And here's some more chips. You just sit here and relax, and I'll take care of everything. And pretty soon you'll be nice and cozy with a good meal and your tummy. I want to be in pictures. I want to be a star. Now, what did you fix yourself for lunch today? Let's see what to be happy here. Have such bad karma, Carl. Oh, oh Stooge One, oh, Stooge Two. Mm. Where's Stooge Three and Four? make joke for Heidi and she go away and she never come back again. Yeah. 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 Well, let Unga Unga to cook your dinner for you tonight. I'm going to cook good spaghetti dinner. Yeah, Italian spaghetti. Learned how to cook spaghetti from old Italian garbage collector that uh, I learned uh, cooking from uh, nice Italian men. Teach me to cook Italian food and to speak Italian, honey. He teach me to say, hope you pasta, honey. <laughs> ready to see the new transformed Heidi? Here I am, ready to face my man. Well, how do I look? All pretty for my man again, huh? Yeah. Schkoll! See, this is how I learned to do it when I was in Italy. I was going with a young Italiano, a weightlifter. He taught me how to use my tongue. Like this, see? Do what you want to do.
to run an establishment. Why, I own 18 large corporations. And if one of my executives acted the way you're acting, why, he'd be fired on the spot. You take numbers on your stand in line, otherwise no food. What do you think this is, honey Harnot? There are only six of us out here. Why should we take numbers? Good enough for bakery, good enough for Omga. I want you to come with me right now to my wife's tent and take her breakfast order. And I'll come along with you. You got any hot dogs in there? Even a crummy place like this pipe, pigsty's got to have hot dogs. No hot dogs. Hot dogs got sawdust in them. Bed for stomach. Hey, Shorty, don't you know that it's un-American not to have hot dogs? If you're going to live here and serve food to us American youth, then it's your patriotic duty to have hot dogs. Not wieners, you understand? Plain American hot dogs. We're going to report you. They're going to take you to the Mexican border and throw you out. Ha, can you imagine that? <laughs> Your clubfoot might get sent back to Berlin because he doesn't know about hot dogs. I heard they were going to take the eagles off the flagpoles and put hot dogs up there. Sexy. <laughs> no hot dogs. I'm going to menu on a bologna sandwich because one dollar. I wish there was some place else to eat around here. You can't believe it. But that man likes worms. Like, I mean, I was sitting in his truck when he was driving me here to the lake, and I actually saw him talk to a worm that was crawling up his neck. And we're going to let this man cook for us? Where's my breakfast? It's amazing. Sometimes I think she has stereo in that belly of hers. Bologna, bologna is good for me. It's commercial. Here, you cut. You cut. Look, we go to wife, and we make her think she's in the Ritz. Yeah, the Ritz. What do you think I am? A prisoner here? Biggie, tell this ugly, stupid man that you're going to buy out the whole place and kick him out if we don't get better service from now on. Oh, calm down, Mildred, for God's sake. He's only a Westerner. He's not used to your half a and talk. <laughs> I like talking Western style. <laughs> Do you want anything to eat here? Anything other than bat water? Have eggs and bologna. I have two eggs scrambled, but I want them soft in the middle. And fudgies. I must have my fudgies. Fuggies? What's fuggies? Don't worry. I've got a case of them in my luggage. I have to take them wherever I go. She's got to have her fudgies. It's like heroin to her. Her name was Mabel, and she was Abel. Yeah. Her name was Mabel, and she was Abel. To do a thing or two, she did it under the table. Her name was Mabel. Get out of here, Henry! You're a lady just like the Ritz. Well, what took you so long? What have you been doing? Counting the damn bats! Give me my food! Stoosh three and four! Oh! 
Oh, I do have company. Oh, push to stream. Oh, oh. Was a city named Dua Diddy down in New Orleans. Oh, she was so pretty when she was in Dua Diddy. Oh, but was she heavy? Oh, oh, she heavy. And she was a pretty, and her name was Kitty, and she came from the city, and she, oh, Dua Diddy. Maybe it's dinosaur tracks. Don't be ridiculous. These tracks were made in the last several days. They're animal tracks. Some type of... No, it's not an earth corrosion. These are definitely animal tracks made by a sliding animal, either on its belly or side. Maybe this has something to do with that movement in town. That Phil fell asked me to keep a lookout for anything strange, but this is awfully strange. Hey, look at that. The water's turned red. Have you ever seen that before? That's not so remarkable. They call it the red algae tide. It's very common in the waters of the Pacific. It is very strange for a lake, though. I also have you and you, yeah, the two of you now, yeah. You will eat the crops. You'll eat carrots and lettuce. And spinach is they got. And we'll eat a lot. And, and we'll save the land. They wouldn't take the land. Yeah. And we'll save the trees and the, and the lake and the hills and the forest. We'll save it. You'll eat with uh, salad dressing, a lot of salad dressing. Oh, yeah. Do not be afraid. We will not hurt you. Who are you? We are the three fishermen who disappeared many months ago. But you're dead. We did not die. We lived beneath the red tide in the lake. We have made our home there. We can never return to land again. But you're dead. Everybody know you're dead. We did not die. When we ate the fish we caught with your tenure worms, they took over our lifeblood. And we became like this. Not man. Not worm. The worms took over our bodies. And we live in peace. Underneath the red tide in the lake. We are a new glorious breed of men. We are at peace under the red tide. And we do not need greedy man. Tonight, we have come for you to help us, Umgar. We help you? We are men only. We need women. We cannot go out onto the land. The sun is too hot. It will destroy us. At night, we go roaming for love so we can have children. Umgar, we need you to get us women. We need your help. They're just like us, and they're women. The women will come with us. No, no, they don't, don't take them. They're mine. They, they need to eat the crops to drive the bad people away. Don't take them, please. Please! There's three of us. 
That could cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, women make head buzz. Buzz, buzz in men. Head. See, there, there are two uh, uh, of them up there, and there are three of you. You need one for each of you, yeah. You see, don't take them. I make you other um, women. Please, I make them for you. I promise I make them for you. But don't take them, please. Why don't we just take the women and go? He's right. We need three women. One for each of us. We will accept your offer, Umgar. We will return in several days. And if you have the three women you promised, we will let you live in peace. We go. How's it going, Rusty? Pretty good except for that last guy over there. Look, this meeting tonight has got to be a big affair. We've got to get all of these people on our side. Sir, please uh, understand. Take this sample, please. Move, I don't want it. You understand? You don't seem to understand that, though, do you? You're a bum. You're a bum. Look at those rotten kids. I think I'll get Captain Warren after them. No, don't do that. It'll make the papers, and then we'll have an investigation. We got all kinds of trouble over here. Nothing to worry about anyway, so a bunch of kids come up to the meeting. So what? We'll, they'll have posters and banners and stuff. We'll buy the posters for 20 bucks. Ain't nothing. Hey, listen. Max and the gang are going to take care of things this time. Uncle will be dead by the night. I hope you're right. But, Daddy, she is your wife. Maybe you should report it to the police or something. Maybe she got picked up by two thugs. Yeah, in a fudgy truck. I could just see her in the back of a fudgy truck, gorging herself to death. Where's Arnold? Have you seen Arnold lately? Maybe they ran off together. <laughs> Arnold's got the runs. He's been in and out of the outhouse all day long. Got the what? Runs! Runs! <laughs> Don't go near the water. Don't go near the water. I got hot dogs for you. I got all meat hot dogs. I got a big shipment. They just came in. Don't go near the water. I'm going to cook hot dogs for you. Hot dogs, they're coming. Oh, my God. There he is again, the strange one. He scares the hell out of me. Maybe he ate Mama. The old club has got some hot dogs for us. I'll be up there later. I've got a lot of important work to do. Where's Arnold? He's supposed to be helping. Oh, he's up in the outhouse. Oh, far out. Mm, wow, look at these hot dogs. Oh, wow, must eat and everything. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha!
quiet and you won't get hurt until I make up my mind what to do with you. Yeah. Oh, you pretty, you... You make Unga feel strange feeling of his whole body. Yeah, same feeling I had when I was uh, in, in high school when I walked past the, the girls' gymnasium. Yeah, must have made Bertha jealous. Bertha has escaped! Bertha has escaped! She went to porno tank! No, Bertha! You're too young for porno tank! No, you mustn't go, Bertha! No! father when the, the dam wasn't safe. Melnick's father killed my papa. Give me the deed. I'll take it to the meeting tonight. I'll fight for you. Now you lie like the others. No. Then give it to Phil, the young boy. He'll listen. He'll take it to the meeting tonight. They're having a rezoning meeting in town. I, I promise I'm not lying to you. He, he won't let your 
land be taken away from you. Your, your trees won't be taken away and your lake won't be destroyed. Okay, I give you one chance. I give the documents to Phil and he takes them in town. And if the people don't listen, then I come back. Let me read it. What does it say? Be quiet. zoning of Lake Melnick and will be discussed by anyone who has anything of importance to say. We didn't have a match. We didn't have a match. What match? The burn old guard. You're a bum. You're a crooked politician. As a property owner in this here town, namely Happy Harry's Used Auto Sales Company Incorporated, my business fell off almost 40% the last two years. Now listen, I ain't in the business to lose money. I almost went broke when that lake dried up. I think the development of Lake Melnick and the Manana Estates is going to be a boom to this town, and it's uh, going to bring in senior citizens with lots of money. That's very good thinking, Mr. Harris. Anybody else? You're still alive! Uh, I'd like to say a few words, Mayor. I'll go right ahead, May. You all know May Florine, the uh, owner of the uh, May's Fresh Meat Emporium. My name is May Florine. Hey, it's like a two of May. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's keep it down to a small roar. Now, I own May's Meats in a little piece of land up near the lake where we hold our annual tequila drinking contest. Except you drink us all under the table, May. Hey, that's because I keep in shape. Hey, May, what about those arm wrestling contests you hold back in the freezer, huh? Eh? Hey, now, come on, you're embarrassing me in front of these good folks. Go on, May, please, the rezoning. Oh, yeah, uh, look, now I'm for rezoning that old dried-up sewer up there. Now, we need progress. Now, we need more kids, we need more broads, and we need more guys. I mean progress. Now, we got a lot of valuable land tied up in those old weeds up there. What you are trying to say is that she owns half of the city dump. And if you people decide to rezone her land, then it becomes part of the deal that you want to build condominiums on. There's nothing but pollution all over the place. Or something on, on ground that is not even fit to walk on. 
That's enough of that, young man. We don't need any loud mouths in an organized meeting. Now, hang on. Hang on, Sheriff. Now, I ain't standing on no protocol here. My name is Marlboro. Now, for those people who don't know me, well, I, I ain't too tall, but uh, me there will tell you I, I stand kind of tall in the saddle. Now, I got the fanciest restaurant in town, and I'm here to tell you folks that my business has gone way down. I got beer going warm in the fridge. I got goddamn pinball machines that have dropped dead. Fishermen used to come in to see me by the hundreds, and they don't come into Marlboro's place no more. I love nature. And I love that lake. Hell, I was, I was raised around that lake. I used to fish for catfish when I was knee-high to a grasshopper. But now, all of that has changed. Change? You want to know about change? Let me tell you about my hamburger and chicken joint. My buns are drying up. I got grade A meat that's turning green. Those rotten chickens are getting rottener every day. The place looks like a bad beachhead landing. I ain't got no business. That lake is one dried up mud hole. What we need is progress. We need to rezone this area for recreation. We need something that will attract young girls. We need to build pool halls. We need tennis courts. We need swimming pools. We need something that will attract hundreds of girls. No, no, not hundreds of girls. Thousands of girls! Not that I need any more girls. <laughs> I'm for rezoning. And them that ain't, don't even bother coming into Marlboro's place no more. Now listen, everybody. I've got a note from Mr. Umgar. He says that he's got a deed to Lake Melnick. He says that... Max, get him! <laughs> Don't move! Keep that punk quiet! Don't move! What good are you? I think it is time for us to bow our heads in prayer and pray for peace for all mankind. Listen up, Arthur. Here comes Father Smudge with his prayers. Father who? Smudge! Smudge! Dear Lord, we thank thee for the wisdom to rezone. And we thank thee for the funds to invest in Manana Estates. For our frothy, overflowing cup full of profits from our monastery retreat, chapel, frozen yogurt parlor, meditation center, and take that heathen away! Amen. I can't let him take still. That dirty old clubfoot had the deed all the time. Oh, he's got the deed. We've got the rezoning. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him my own way now, tonight. Don't go near him, man. You blow the whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to blow the whole thing. I'm going to blow his brains out. This is radio station KFUF, KFOF. Melna, California. Here's a real news hot flash from City Hall. There was a big ruckus tonight at the town meeting for the rezoning of Lake Melnick. A boy, young boy disrupted the meeting as far as we can tell and is being hunted by the sheriff right now. It seems at the meeting he and his group of conservationists took exception to the city council's ruling in favor of rezoning the lake. The two councilmen, a council lady and the mayor voted unanimously to grant to Clyde Harris and his Land America Investment Group the rights to the property and the future development of Manana Estates. Now for more music. I don't wait for anybody. Nobody. Honors, they kill. They take your city council. Yeah. Sick, yeah. But we save the green trees and the forest and the mountains, yeah.
Good money, I don't know why you can't. You just try some of this stuff, it's awful good stuff, awful good. see them. Come on closer. Come on. I don't got I want the papers. Every single one of them and don't lie to me. Or I'll blow your head off. I mean business this time, I'm gar. I'm gonna blow your head off. I am so tired of those stares and that mumbling and that foot of yours. I'm going to come to three. Get me those papers. One. Two. <laughs> so that's where it was all along. Unger, you and I are going to take a little walk down to the dam. I'm going to take you where your daddy is. Yeah, you're going to be happy at last. You and your daddy together in the cement under the mud. I'll give me the documents. Oh, <laughs> 
Jim's coming in with a rope. I just hope they don't touch him. Oh, God. Yay, yay,